Thanks for messing around. We got some Operation Guns Vampire Survivors. Sheena at Ronzi here. Going on Neo Galaga in inverse mode. Even 3,000 damage hits don't be inverse Neo Galaga. So that's incredible to learn. Also, this is recorded in post because somehow I muted myself again. I don't know why. So look at the chapters if you want to see for when you can actually start listening to me or not. It's your choice. Either way, thanks for watching.
So I had Mute on the whole time. That's just great. Wonderful. Fantastic. You'd think after how many times it's messed me up, I would remember to check, but no. No. I just keep falling into the same mistakes over and over and over again. Man, look at the sheer damage that she's pumping out in Taka. The other characters aren't going to have a chance to win this. They're not going to be doing this much damage. They can't. I mean, maybe with Divine Bloodline, Stanley could, but he's the only one. Like, Taka's still here. He's taking tens and thousands of damage, and he's still here. Look at that crazy amount. Is Big Fuzz going to be a real fight now? Don't talk us down. What the hell was that? I think it's Stalker. He don't. We're gonna have to go to Big Fuzz. I can't survive this raw. Well, maybe if I stood still, I could. But, hey. Okay. Are you gonna be upside down? about as well as it could have. No one else is going to be able to do this. It, it's just not... 5,000 damage hits with the shuriken. 5,000, and they were still getting with no trouble. Where are we going to lose this? Even he's taking so much. Oh, hey, there is a thing after the bombs. That wasn't his just I die move. Jeez. Yeah, that's crazy overtuned. 2,000 damage hits and they aren't going down. I'm actually going to have to go Divine Bloodline on everyone else to compensate. Hi. Don't release me from this torture. Six hundred and seventy-three million. Hey, why are there only three armadillos? There's four on the map, right? One, two, three. No, oh, there is only three. I mean, I could have gotten another one from a chest, maybe. No, oh, there's a very specific efficiency there. Okay, but that's her done on inverse Neo Galuga. That was absolutely crazy that even with that level of damage she still had to struggle like cripes all right for some operation guns tides of poscari style as sheena and ronzi heads on to well hopefully she heads on to lake poscari let's get some blade crossbow and going yeah i forgot to once more seal the evolution so, yep. But yeah, it should be way more doable than Neo Galaga on inverse. And a Labrador. What happened? Pick up. Here, Jisu. Well, maybe I should save Tier Jisu for later for Armadillo, just in case. 
No, that's not. And it's basically filled out all my passes. And yeah. Okay, just follow the blade crossbow shots. That is on the map, so I do not need it. Yeah, that figures. Good, empty tomb. Duplicator. Hmm. A lot of good pickups to grab. A lot of good pickups to grab. Spinach, of course, is necessary. As this Taronis box, I need damage. Can't not have damage. Area first. I need a safety. This liner. Oh, good NFT. Burn you to crisp, Mister. Oh, hey, fully upgraded. Alright, let's start heading over to the luck stuff. Well, I have a chance. Ooh, I could have grabbed the wings. But cooldown reduction. If I get the armadillo, it'll probably be Spellbinder. And them lasting longer on the field helps more, I think. On the other hand, it said Pierce. So I don't know if there's actually a limit on the amount of hits they can pull off. It doesn't feel like it, but why would Pierce be there otherwise? Maybe the Pierce is how long they stay out. Nice. After they hit things. And you think it'd be Spellbinder, but who knows sometimes, who knows. Okay, this should be going much, much easier than Neo Galaga. Yeah, 3,000 damage hits, and it still wasn't enough to survive without extreme revives. That's on the map. That is not. Alright. Wings are duplicator. Wings are duplicator. Oh, wait, I already have max cooldown, so duplicator. Make my cooldown so high, it's scary. Did they even need the book? Did she get away with not getting the book? I mean, in that case, wings would be better since it increases two stats compared to one. Oh, good. We love the boss. That's risky right now. Not till I max out Torona's boss. Or banish Torona's box. So it seems that maybe Pierce is how far they'll shoot out through enemies instead of being stuck on what they seem to be doing. We roll. There's Duplicator. Okay, let's get Mike going. I'm out. I don't really need block, actually. I mean... I mean, this weapon feels like it should credit. Is it critting? I don't see any red numbers for it. Oh, I should grab a tag wheel first. Actually, I shouldn't grab it at all, but... Oh, nice, Armadillo. Nice candy box to get Armadillo. And with that, I'll get Spellbinder. Liner has more use, so I don't even think Bluff does anything. I really should have grabbed it. Wait. Oh, it was a fish, not an arrow.
Okay, I don't think there's like a projectile limit on this weapon. So maybe Silent Old or Lost and Found Painting would be very good to boost it up. Okay, let's punish you, Atlantean. I don't want to go into the maze with you. Mostly did it just because I could. Okay, good, nice, excellent, perfect. And they're only on screen for like a few seconds. Maybe a good weapon for certain uh, Papino. No. Papaya to have. With her endless stacking of duration. I got into her cripple wave, I shouldn't have. Just one crown, eh? Oh, went the wrong way. Level up. Okay, so that was from rolling up the Metaglio, not from taking out too much damage. Damn, the sheer volume of attacks. Ooh, nice grenade. Ooh, and an NFT. I don't want the oil. Well, I might as well grab all this stuff. I'm not gonna come back here. Oh, let's see what I could grab. Max that out, even though I should have gone for a crown. Yep, they're fried good. Man, they're still getting in. You know, I'll take away for just in case. Oh, that's what the tier is for, so double just in case. Pricer does have some benefit, kind of. I mean, if they go out fast, they'll get out further. I get a decent amount of duration out of this one for once. Plenty of stuff to still level up. A lot of stuff on the map here. We have more revives and more amount coming. Lost and found painting. It's pretty late. So I'm gonna go with Sarabande. 4.8 is not a lot, but still. It's every bit of damage I can get. Damn, they don't want to give me stuff. Ooh. I'm on this side of the bridge. Weird. I was on the other. Okay. I might just armor to grab since I'm not grabbing Skullamania. Well, then they have a clover. Ooh. Charge through with that power. No NFT here. There's more I'm going in. 60 is pretty respectful ish damage, but steel. Nice. Coming off of the uh, evolution is four digit damage. And even Brownie's high three digit. It's a uh, downgrade. It's a very big downgrade. Well, I guess Sonic Bloom was even worse. That was at least generally better at keeping things away. That's what is really strange about that. Kill count is not going up very well. Alright, Academy Badge. Ooh, vacuum. That'll help. Let's get that shield power going. Well, just mash A. Just mash A. And then get that chest there. I'm not going to have as remotely many of the lives as I had on Neo Gallery, but still. Ooh, NFT, NFT. Firepower. Grenade. Or a rosary, it's hard to tell. Damn, they're so big in here. These are still getting in. And the knockback is pretty incredible. 
Ooh, Chesto. Chesto Victorio. Silver Ringu. Don't need Integrio right. Don't want to mess with the Atlante because I don't have the damage to take it out. Not penalty. Now that I can do. NFT damage is still crazy good. I'm out. I'm ready to save that for the armor if I knew better. If I knew better, my views wouldn't have cratered, eh? Like, seriously. Not that I was expecting to retain that much viewership, but still. Single digits after three? That's horrifying. I'm so bad at this. It's crazy, but thank you for the few who did. You are dedicated, as I am to the Beswood. Should probably just remove Beswood from the title. What a pointless niche. Also, we should probably like create a full description in the thing description of what I'm doing. No. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I knew they were durable and way stronger than they should be, but still, I wasn't expecting it to happen that fast. Man, when it's on inverse, that is so strange. Hey, chest down there, or vacuum down there. No, do not go back in the forest, that's bad. Ooh, NFT. I'll go punch the Atlantean, or breathe on the Atlantean. This should last forever. I've got 160 duration. Yep, that's working out well. Pierce one, Pierce two, Pierce three. Duration up. Yeah, I don't know what Pierce actually does here. Does it do anything? What 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 hit me? What could possibly have actually hit me? Is there a boss in there I didn't see? Well, maybe if I get up to 100 might, things will change. Hmm, maybe I should have gone area. Why am I still going Pierce? I don't know what it does. Oh, Arcana, Cockatrice. Fire vaguely in the direction I'm going, so I should circle. Okay, so it seems like the Pierce is definitely feels like the Pierce is having an effect. I don't know what it's doing effectively, but it is having an effect that is just blatantly obvious from what's going on on screen. Like. They don't disintegrate like a lot of other weapons do, so maybe it's the amount of hits they do before they come back. That's what Pierce does. Feels like that's what's happening. I don't need some more powers. Surprise. Okay, 
sheer volume of damage concentrated in a small area like this does really take care of things. Alright, so the way I think it works is that it hits, fires out, hits the first enemy it does, does its thing, then it stays there till either the duration times out or it runs through the number of hits, then it comes back to you. Since most weapons just disintegrate when their hits expire, and this one just bounces back, it's more difficult to tell up front with it. But I think that's how it works. Feels like that's how it works, considering what's going on. Because this is definitely not just area pumping off. Wait, is this normally Ghost Wave? Yeah, you're not getting damaged yet. Oh, weird. Why is it firing like this? Damage is going up very low. Probably shouldn't have done damage. Maybe the area would have been better. No, neither of them were particularly great. Weapons based damage is not very high compared to its evolution and such. And area is almost contradictory with what you needed. Still, it might have been better. Oh. Well, oh, I have a million things here, so. Well, oh, bye bye, Avatar of Gaia. You were toasted before your time. Yeah, that was definitely much easier now. Neo Galaga, there was no way she would have been able to survive this. Even with so much damage she was pumping out, she barely got through. That was ridiculous inverse. I have to do it five more times. I think Bahamut's the only one that's going to be easy. And maybe Simundo, if he gets absolutely crazy luck with grenades. Well, no. He wouldn't be able to survive the last, either. Because they were taking tens of thousands of damage. Uh, well, with his luck and his survivability. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, good thing there was plenty more of over on the map. Yep, them green night waves. Still ridiculous. Oh, I have so many power-ups stacked. It's gonna be very hard for them to deal with me. Even with the not-so-great damage. Yeah, it's a good thing she came here with how she works. Our characters would not have had the opportunity to survive like this. Yeah, Brownie would have been toast, so would like Bill and stuff. Well, maybe I could have just ran the it out. Oh, Death, you are so sweet. 44.4 million. Dang, you missed the 44.4k DPS. Tut tut, Sheena. Tut tut. Yeah, actually less damage. Oh yeah, of course less enemies to feed in the Neo Galaga, because I wasn't hitting for close to a billion damage. Yeah, Blade Crossbow definitely weaker than its evolution by a crazy amount. So far, the only ones that are comparable, and even then they're worse, are Spread Gun and Sea Laser. Everything else is just strictly inferior. This is another one. Well, she's done. Next up is Pro Protector. Back on Neo Galaga. Well, that should be much easier because time warp and that. Also, it increases might with armor, and I'm going to get a ton of armor. Till next time. Well, that inverse Neo Galaga was certainly a troublesome one, but Lake Voskari was much more reserved. Still, that does not bode well for every other character. I think them all, Probotector and Bahamut, are the only ones that are going to have an easy time. So, stay tuned for the next one. We are 263 down. Uh, 1,669 to go. Nice. 
thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone who stuck around. If you would like to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe, I would also appreciate it, so do so if it pleases you. Either way, I hope you have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Beating every stage with every character just keeps getting longer and longer, eh?